I'm Matt Libertori. I'm Assistant Professor in Chemical Engineering. I've been here at School of Mines uh, almost five years, so that's basically longer than any period up to this point in my adult life. I spent four years in undergraduate here in graduate school, less than five years, even in postdoc. But, so I've been here and I'm, not, and I'm scared. I'm like, I have a real job in the real world. Uh, my expertise in research is that I, I, I professionally measure the viscosity of materials. So if it's too thick, I'll make it thinner. If it's too thin, I'll make it thicker. And so that leads us into a lot of interesting materials areas. And so I work with Dr. Cohen on hydrate and flows. I work with Dr. Herring on a bunch of different projects. I work with Dr. Boys, who makes a lot of cool stuff, and I try to make it into something bigger and the more engineered material. And so I'm tied into many of the people in the room because I have a skill set that's a little bit unique in, in that way, in that I don't do energy for a living. And so I love doing the energy research, but I'm kind of on the side, but everyone needs my help a lot of the time, so that's a good place to be. How do you do with pancake syrup? Pancake syrup? <laughs> yeah, that's not why. Foods are, I do a little bit with foods. We work with a palm where the thickens foods a lot. So basically, if you look on any dairy product that's low fat or non fat, there's a polymer called xanthan gum in there. And yeah. we've been studying that a lot. So you probably consume some of this polymer even today. Some of that stuff back there most most likely is in there as a mechanism. Good, good texture and good feel. And it's just a polymer made up of sugar all chained together, so it's not bad for you. It's not it's not synthetic, it's a, it's a natural polymer. So we use fun things like that. So I'm working with Curtis, which is Dr. Boyd and I. Curtis is right here. Alright, very good. So um, that's me. Okay, okay.